In this video we will cover the superficial and deep veins of the cerebrum, both of which drain into the dural venous sinuses. First, we will examine the deep veins. So the deep veins of the cerebrum drain into the great cerebral vein. This vein travels posteriorly and in turn drains into the straight sinus. So the great cerebral vein has two major sets of tributaries. The first are the internal cerebral veins. These veins are closely associated with the thalamus, which you can see here highlighted in green, and they're also associated with the choroidal plexus of the lateral and third ventricles. These veins travel posteriorly, where they unite to form the great cerebral vein. The second set of tributaries are the basal veins. These veins also extend posteriorly and they are closely associated with midbrain structures and they drain into the great cerebral vein, which in turn drains into the straight sinus. So these are the deep cerebral veins. Next we're going to talk about the superficial venous drainage and to do so we're going to have to rotate the model around laterally. So we can see here the lateral aspect of the cerebrum on the left hand side and we can see that there are several veins. These can be grouped into a group of superior cerebral veins and a superficial middle cerebral vein. So let us first look at these superior veins. These veins extend along the lateral surface superiorly and they drain into the superior sagittal sinus. We can see the superior sagittal sinus within the falx cerebri. The superficial middle cerebral vein travels within the lateral or sylvian fissure and drains into three different sinuses. So via a superior anastomotic vein, it drains into the superior sagittal sinus. Via an inferior anastomotic vein, it travels inferiorly and drains into the transverse sinus. If again we go back to the superficial middle cerebral vein and we follow its course anteriorly, we will see that it actually extends internally and drains into the cavernous sinus. So the middle superficial cerebral vein drains into the cavernous sinus, it drains into the superior sagittal sinus and it also drains into the transverse sinus. So that's the end of this tutorial. We'd love to hear your feedback on what you thought of this video and what topics you'd like us to cover in the future. You can do this by leaving a comment or dropping us an email.